Welcome back to the channel. Now, a woman has been named as a person of interest in the Melissa Silvera murder cover up. Now, the people are asking the question Was the death of Melissa Silvera over a woman? Now, before we get into that, with Vibes Cartel's final Privy Council hearing set for February of this year, Prime Minister Andrew Holness during his conference chose to use a line from Vibes Cartel's song. And he says, as I quote, Vibes Cartel says it best when it comes to his policy and or his administration policy that the wealth must be shared amongst all Jamaicans. He says, every ghetto youth is a star. Maybe I hear what I'm going to continue reasoning. Look and listen. What was the mission? The mission was to move Jamaicans from poor thinking, poor way of life, move Jamaicans from poverty to prosperity. It's not just my belief. One DJ said it far more eloquently than I could say it. Every ghetto youth is a star. <laughs> And I want every ghetto youth to realize that dream. Not prosperity for some tapanaris. Not prosperity for some big shot. Not prosperity for a few. But prosperity must be shared for all. Now, with a woman being named as a person of interest, and with the state saying nothing more about the other individuals who are said to be persons of interest, Two associates of Mr. Silvera who allegedly helped with the cleanup or was found to be individuals who paid for building equipment that law enforcement says was used in an attempted cleanup. Now, law enforcement says they are looking for the help to locate a woman. The woman has already contacted defense attorney Valerie Nita Robinson, who said the fact that law enforcement named the person of interest. As they were wrong for doing so but such is the procedure for law enforcement when they believe an individual is on the run seeing that them already have an address for her but them seem to can't locate her there so they must have asked the public for assistance now seeing that this individual has already contacted a, de a defense attorney would i expect the law enforcement will be getting a visit from her and her attorney soon but would the people long speculating that and most cases of domestic violence, there's always some situation of cheating. Which for quite some time now, even though law enforcement has already arrested and brought charges against Mr. Silvera, the motive for Melissa Silvera's death has still not been established. Law enforcement still don't know why Mr. Silvera would have do this. I will push him to do this, allegedly. Now the thing is why law enforcement can't prove why an individual do it or why they accused do the crime. Them can prove that the crime took place. And seeing that it is now being fully established that Mr. Silvera was there on the night that Melissa Silvera died. So based upon evidence where law enforcement are used. I wanna see the defense attorneys fall out and say no. Mr. Silvia was not at the home. And if that was the situation, some believe that attorneys would have said that in the first place. So now, a grown man was at the home. This is a man that has a registered licensed firearm. This is a man who knows the sound of gunshots. Now his wife, life was taken by three gunshots. And nobody in the house never hear said gunshots and that means whoever was at the home who called law enforcement and said that there was a death at the home them did know said the person died from gunshots as it is being reported in the news a bloody crime scene 
must have been seen by the person who discovered Mr. Sil Mrs. Silvera. Maybe some of the reasons why Mr. Silvera is already behind the bars. I don't know if I'll get bail. Is because the officer in question was the only officer who responded to the call. Has already cooperated with law enforcement. Him now want to lose him job over this. I was still not hear what kind of disciplinary action was taken against him. Maybe because him already helped the state with them investigation. Maybe I tell them where him come see. Maybe I already tell them who him see when him respond to the call. Who was at the home. And of course, this is information the law enforcement can use. Because if Mr. Silvera and Mrs. Silvera were the only two persons at the dwelling, if we don't know, remember this is an ongoing investigation. So little details like this are things we are going more here during trial or during when the defense is seeking bail for Mr. Silvera and we will hear certain aspects or certain pieces of evidence the prosecutors have and then we're going to present that in court. And that's how we're going to hear what was told to law enforcement and what them already know. Because with this being an ongoing investigation, them now going to tell me what them already know. And what they're using to continue to build the case. Obviously, the reason why they move on from the other two individuals where they say they don't want to speak to or two associates, they already speak to them. So, they probably follow up with the leads that they have no receive from these individuals and with all the other information that they already have. Now the fact that a woman is now also at the center of this murder cover up and may I point out something to me. Even though <coughs> law enforcement readily put out persons of interest, name and them picture and the information they have when seeking to find them. The other individuals who law enforcement did want to talk to. Either law enforcement had a current address for them or something because they were never named. And things like this are important because when they reach the level of attorneys and the way the case is being handled, things like this will be brought up in court. And prosecutors and law enforcement will have to answer for these tactics. Anomalies and his tactics that are unfamiliar, new to procedure, and often just not heard of in cases before. That defense attorneys used to say this was, you know, clearly mistreatment, unfair treatment. Reason. The man's on the field about the local Jamaican government elections. Prime Minister state is stating that the aim of his administration is to make sure that the wealth is shared amongst all Jamaicans. And that's a prosperous Jamaican or a prosperous Jamaica is seen by all, not for some Dapaneers. I think of the word they use, a Dapaneris. Quote unquote, they're already rich. A Dapaneris, I think the word was. No, no, no. It's a long time where people don't really use them slang anymore. Maybe them slang is so circular again. Them said there's nothing new under the sun. But him said the aim is for prosperity for everybody. We're not there for calling out upon that at the moment. We're going to say this though. People are saying they're not seeing it. Well, there are more available jobs because of the cost of living and the slip of a dollar, which are something where um, long before the Prime Minister now become the Prime Minister. The slip of a dollar, the devaluation of the Jamaican dollar. Um, with exchange with other major currencies that happened long before Prime Minister and Jonas become Prime Minister and Jonas. He can't take blame for that. No matter what he says, he can't put that blame there upon the Prime Minister. However, we will say this. When a government can come out and say they're going to pay politicians more to get more out of politicians but not paying the other people more to get the more out of them, we have to talk about that. When you have to point out the fact say roads and steady water supply are something that has been promised for years now and some people still not get it, you have to talk about it. The fact that the things said to the Prime Minister's general election campaign still not you have to talk about it. We have to also point out another one party tweet. 
meaning and a one part in the council is going to fulfill it. Talk to me. Which part do you feel like is going to affect the lead the country going forward in this new day and age? Keep in mind, the track record and the legacy of these parties are already set. But the new individuals in the leadership of the party are different individuals from the individuals before, for good or for, 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 for worse. Some people still believe the opposition has still not found solid leadership. And if they have found the solid leadership, the entire party is not on the same page. Same thing with the opposition. Them say, while the opposition, same thing with the party in power, say. Them say for the party in power, they have found strong leadership and solid leadership in Mr. Holmes. But there are some individuals, because I always be rumored, when a politics from when we and them still not readily feel like leadership is better leadership as opposed to me don't know if a them or people who them believe should lead the party but the thing is the people like Mr. Wallace more and them have to work with that and the Prime Minister is definitely the face of the party but with that being said with him being the face of the party Whenever people blame the government for anything, then blame the Prime Minister first. And some people believe that has been used in the past to make the Prime Minister look away to the people. In. And this has been done by people within his own party. Mm -hmm. People within the very same party. People the Prime Minister probably call him friend. Them, them same and once he replaced. But when they look on the statistics, they realize that eh, nobody else in the party not really have the charisma and the, the favoritism of the voters like the Prime Minister and so during times like this it is it looks like uh, uh, the opposition was heard saying make them, you know pretend as if they are united until after all this talk to me in the comment section tell me what you think and if you're new to the channel just pass through subscribe icon and then the bell icon and for the reason again live love and prosper and stay tuned